Hey, it's me. Okay, I'm going to do the tutorial on how to get Windows Mobile 6.1 on your T-Mobile Wing. Now before you even start this, look at this phone. What kind of phone is this? This is a T-Mobile Wing, also known as the, the HTC Herald and the PC4351 or something like that. If you have the MDA, the XDA, the Touch, the Dash, if you have anything other than the T-Mobile Wing, do not do this. You will break your phone. I am not joking. Even if you say, oh, I have Windows Mobile 6 on my phone, do not do it because each ROM is different for each cell phone. Okay? Thank you. Please follow along and enjoy your Windows Mobile 6.1 Professional. T-Mobile Wing users, here we go. This is how you upgrade your ROM and put Windows Mobile 6.1. Alright, so what you want to do is go to the very, very first link I show you. It's going to look something like this. Mega Upload. It's going to say, please enter GUX here or whatever the code is. Put in the code. And click Download. Oh, I guess it took friggin' forever. Okay. QTJ. Download. It's going to say, please wait some odd seconds until download. It's fine. Let's wait for it. Now, everything I'm doing, I already have on my computer. So, if I get, you know, an error message saying, oh, it's already on your computer, blah, 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 blah. Just don't worry about that. I'm just showing you exactly what to do. And if you... Mis mislead uh, if you don't follow me a hundred percent uh they could you could brick your phone um it's really not okay if you brick your phone because it's not able you can't use it, but there is ways to unbrick it, but if you follow along, you wouldn't have no problem all right, so click free download flash center is gonna you know come up you're gonna open it I have win raw if you have win raw that's Friggin' awesome. Keep that. I'm gonna open it. Now what you see is flash flash center dot rar, correct? So you're gonna open that. And what happens is it's gonna say flash center. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take flash center slider, you're gonna drag it over on your desktop. And there it is. This flash center. Exit out of this. Exit out of that. We're all done with that site. Now go to the second site I ga uh, gave you. It is Rapid Share. This is what it looks like. Click right here. It says Free User. This also is going to take some odd seconds. But it's fine. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year. All right, click download. Now this one you're going to want to save. Save to your computer because what you're going to do, you're not going to you're not going to just run this program. You have to extract it to a folder, specific folder. So I'm going to save it to the disk. Okay. Open Touch takes quite a few <laughs> to download. What I want to do, I'm just going to shut the camera off to save space, try to get this on one video, and I'll turn it back on when it's done. Okay, guys, we're ready to go. So now what you want to do is you want to go to where the file downloaded, which mine went to C Downloads, Open Touch version 5.0 Light Diamond. Right click that, click on Extract Files. And this is the important part. Right here in the menu, you're going to see desktop or cheap public, whatever. Click on, double click Flash Center. Click on RUU once. So the f destination will be Flash Center slash RUU. That's where you want it to go because that's where the MBH file has to go. Click OK. OK, once it's there, click on Flash Center. You're going to see a file that says, uh, folder that says RAPI double click that there's going to be a cab file 
you want to drag that CAB file over to your phone and you want to install and run it. After you do that, you're good to go. Now, after you do that, click Flash Center again. Click on herald-uspl.exe. Now, your phone's automatically going to be plugged in because you just put the CAB file on your phone. Just make sure Active Sync's on. If you have Windows XP, Active Sync is a green circle in the bottom right hand corner. And if you have Windows XP, as long as you have a gray, a gray looking cell phone with a green check mark, you're good to go. Hit enter. Step one out of three. Now what this is doing, this is compiling all the information on the phone already. It's fairly, fairly quick. Now the next step will load it's gonna load a patch bootloader on your device and it will you know it will make it super CID which I'm not even gonna explain that but if you see that you're good to go click enter now it's two of three um, once it reaches 75 percent of the step your screen on your phone is going to go white it's going to, to go white you'll be fine it'll be okay If it goes white, that means it's working. Now this takes quite a second to do. Still 15% done. But uh, I need to keep this, you know, this video going. So, all right, 25% because if anything at all happens throughout this, This is the important part. This is where you're erasing everything on your phone and installing a new a new ROM with Windows 6.1. This is a really cool, cool, cool also. Now, your, your phone should go white right there. Mine just disconnected and connected back on. Now, your phone screen should be blank, which is correct, and active sync should be gray, which it is. It's off. Now, what you're going to do you're going to hit enter it's going to launch the RUU program now once this comes up mine asked me if uh, I allow this because it's an unidentified user you're going to have this come up click on I understand the caution connect the PDA phone it's connected your connection with Active Sync. Make sure you establish a connection with Active Sync. If you have Windows Vista, it's going to show that green check mark with the gray cell phone again. And I completed these steps. Now it's going to verify the information on the phone. And once it does that, it's going to ask me one more time. I'm going to show you how I want to do this. Click OK. It's going to say update. Now, if you look, I'm going from the original image. To the image version 4.10.531.2. Click next. Next. This is updating the ROM. It says this operation takes about 10 minutes. It doesn't take that long. It takes about maybe three or four minutes. Once that's good, your phone's gonna reset itself. It's gonna say open touch version 5.0. It's gonna be black and gray. And once that loads, it's going to look exactly like your old start and all that, you know, your old operating system, except this one's going to be a little bit more advanced. You can tell by the start menu and whatnot. But that's how you do it. If you break your phone, I'm not responsible. I gave you the exact directions on how to do it. If you didn't follow along or you got lost, just rewind the video. That's all you got to do and enjoy. But once this goes all the way down to 100%, your phone's going to restart itself. And if you remember when you first got your wing, how you had to, you know, calibrate your keypad when you had to press the little uh, crosshairs in order to calibrate it, and you're going to have to do that again. So enjoy this, have fun with this, and make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe my videos. I do a different tutorial almost every week, and if you have an idea on what you want me to do a tutorial on, let me know. Peace.